Hey everyone! We are back with our second camp cooking collaborative challenge. You got it. Featuring Chris and Kendrick, but this time with challengers. The format for tonight is going to be two teams, and this time they're going to get three ingredients that they need to cook only into one dish. Those secret ingredients are taped up in this highly protected, secure envelope. We are all out here camping yeah. in our new camp tab 400 and tag. So these guys are going to have to cook out of the campers with flies all around. I know, it's crazy flies. <laughs> we'll go to the store, reveal the ingredients, and give them 15 minutes to shop, and, and then I'll... we'll head back to camp. And we'll have one hour to cook. Exactly. Challengers, are you ready for your secret ingredients? Woo! Yeah, all right, it is double sealed for your protection. Number one, you will receive frozen shrimp. Number two, you will receive extra sharp white cheddar cheese, sliced. And your third ingredient is dates. Dates, dates shrimp and cheese, cheese. this will be and awesome. Dates. You have till 5.17 to get to the checkout counter. So when we first heard about the ingredients, we were nervous about the frozen shrimp and the dates sharp cheddar and shrimp and dates. It was really kind of a mystery at first. To me, the, the, the surprise for the ingredients were the dates and cheese. That just took a moment to figure out you know, how we're going to use. Like, what do we make? Um, maybe street tacos. That bodes well with all these ingredients. What do we need to make street tacos? We picked up some cilantro to kind of like bring some herbally essence into the uh, <laughs> into the pico that I had made a couple days prior <laughs> and we also got a jalapeno to spice up things and then we also picked up some beans and rice that was our side this is hard to put together I think when you know Kendra came up with the idea of grits and kind of from there became kind of a Louisiana theme because the grits led to kind of a black shrimp. When Kendrick said grits, I'm like, there's no way we're gonna find grits. And sure enough, Terlingua, two, two Texas, kinds of grits. two kinds of grits. Yeah, and, and then trying to find a green because we definitely wanted something green on the plate. If we're going with the Southern shrimp and grits, we gotta have something fried. And what's better fried than Brussels sprouts with bacon? We were done with our grocery yeah. shopping and then we just went and uh, peruse the most important ingredient aisle, the beer fridge. Yeah, um, that took the longest. Yeah. I think we had great checkout time. Yeah, yeah. we made it to the checkout line in time. It yeah. was a long line. We made it there in time. First, let's meet our contestants. And our returning contestants are Chef Chris and Chef Kendrick. And challenging them in Camp Kitchen Stadium today are Chef Amanda and Chef Don. We have two teams. Each team are giving three secret ingredients that they must make into one dish. The time limit will be one hour. And we're going to begin that cooking challenge right now. Ready, set, go! All right. Yay. We met at culinary school. Kenrick was a professor there. We just hit it off. We were making scallops, braised in a brown butter sauce. It's amazing how we met. We were separated at birth because we're identical twins. We found each other much later in life. We were both uh, with the, the gypsy caravan. Hangry gypsy. Yes. That's when we realized we both were the same. We both grew up eating the same spaghetti. Yes. It wouldn't be a competition without official judges. So let's meet the experts we've got judging for us today. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm the executive chef of a Tab 320S. Hi, I'm Julia. I'm an experienced um, food judge. I judged the chili cook-off and now I'm here to do it again. Hi, I'm Rick. I have a mobile tab and I got a 0.725 Michelin star rating. 
done right away. We, we laid everything out and she got rolling on the onions and the peppers. A nice saute, saute. and butter mm -hmm. with some salt to get a base going for our beans and rice. Mm -hmm. So I got onto the grits, you got onto the Brussels sprouts, chopped up the bacon, got that going. Before all that, we had to have a drink in our hand because yeah. otherwise the weight of the utensil will throw you off balance and that's just science. Um, yeah, it's true. So. Well, I noticed Kendrick over there, he reached in and pulled out some special ingredient out of his pocket and sprinkled it on the oh. avocado. So I don't know what's going on, <laughs> but we're in for a treat, whatever it is. These aren't avocados. I recall back in the heyday of Craigslist, perusing the uh, casual encounters and uh, stumbling across the, an ad for somebody looking for a cooking partner. Now, ten years later, here we are. I misspelled cooking. It wasn't supposed to be <laughs> cooking. Team Thunderbox is letting it all hang out and just let it all go at this point. We don't know what to expect, but it's going to be interesting. So once we found out we were identical twins, we had a lot in common growing up. And one of those things was that our parents sucked at cooking and everything was burnt. That's how we learned to cook. Bland, tasteless, really just Cardboard. Awful. Cardboard, yes. Accurate. We had a potential problem. Chris uh -oh. dropped a uh -oh. tomato. tomato and a half in the sand. Oh, no five second rule for Chris. <laughs> he kicked it under the table. The table. There he goes. Just, whew. So we went light on cheese, which I thought the accent was there. You had good flavor, but it wasn't in your face. So I'm happy about that. The trickiest ingredient to work with was the dates. So for those, they just ended up being this really sticky mess. Oh. You know, initially Chris peeled them to kind of make them a little bit more workable. Just cooked them down in some wine, a little balsamic vinegar, and they were tasty. My cooking is heavily inspired by my Pacific Islander roots and heritage. Yeah, my, my cooking is inspired primarily by hunger okay. and a need for sustenance. I probably started cooking around five, and I specifically remember cooking boiled hot dogs, box macaroni and cheese, and canned baked beans every Friday night. It's awful. Chefs, we've got a 30 minute warning. I need all hands down for 30 seconds. This is a required refreshment break. Burning. Your 30 <laughs> seconds will be added. Cheers. To second place. Enjoy it. <laughs> for we have a lot of different yes, parts. Yes, to be the same. Yeah, we don't know how they're going to go together yet. So it's street tacos. Really? Doug Bean for that tacos. one. Who yeah. doesn't love street tacos? It's a camp food. Come on now. Oh, we're, we're doing great. Back to work, y'all. So the shrimp tacos, first we had to defrost the shrimp because they were frozen. So we defrosted them, seasoned them in some butter and chipotle and lime juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And put them on some tortillas that we had warmed over the propane heat on the tag burner. The shrimp is a little bit of a challenge because, you know, it's frozen shrimp and so there's a lot of ice on it. And when you cook that down, you get a lot of liquid in the pan. We tossed them in uh, seasoning and then I got them on the pan, got them hot. And as soon as the liquid cooked out, drained that and got it back on the heat, we finally cooked out right. Perfection. Yeah. I think we're going to win this. We yeah. Chefs, we're down to 15 minute warning. 15 minutes. I'm not really sure they're going to have enough time to finish up. They're getting pretty close. Lady, well, I, I noticed the ladies, the ladies are rocking it. But they did finish something kind of early and now they've got it covered in foil. So we'll see if it's still hot when it comes over. Oh, it'll be. Two burners, two girls. That's all the hot you need. We cooked up the bacon and then obviously you're going to have to fry the Brussels sprouts in the bacon grease because uh, who wants Brussels sprouts cooked in anything else but bacon grease? The guys team's table, yeah. is, prep table is shaking dramatically a, at this point. Uh, so we kept asking the judges, how much time do we have left? Our kitchen stadium was not equipped with a proper countdown clock. Okay, chefs, we're at a five minute warning. So we had everything done. We had plenty of time. We started with the uh, grits yeah, and put a schmear of grits on the plate. Maybe a schmear and a half. A schmear and a half. There's a lot yeah. of grits. And applied a healthy amount of shrimp. And then we had the uh, tomatoes that were cooked in the uh, date mixture and a healthy dose of uh brussels sprouts and jalapeno bacon yep perfect plating i think the judges are really gonna like it dawn and i had a plan she
she was gonna take care of tacos. I had the beans and rice. We uh, put the limes on. After the limes, put down the tortilla shells, prop those up with some beans and rice, and then filled the shells and pushed it out. And That's we so were cute. first to get ours to the judges. Yes. Five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Hands up. What we've made for you tonight is a shrimp street taco with a date salsa topped with the cheese and a side of uh, beans and rice with shark cheddar. I don't know about you, but I would have a date with the salsa. Hey <laughs> judges, <laughs> now let's go with plate number two. Okay. Well, we have a southern cheesy grits, a Louisiana style blackened shrimp, we have a jalapeno bacon Brussels sprouts, and then a date vinaigrette compote tomato. But I'm not tasting uh, the cheese. That could be because according to my calculations in the recipe, it asked for 32 slices of cheese, and we only put in 12. Um, I'm not a real fan of baby cabbages. If, at least enough. for that part of the dish, I think you pulled it off. Yeah. All right. I think you add enough too. bacon to anything. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> All right, judges, uh, are you prepared to conference among yourselves to find a winner? Not yet. Not yet. Uh -oh. <laughs> By the way, the answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> I think we do. I think we I do. Think we do. Yeah, I think we do. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, y'all did pretty good, but I'm pretty confident that we're going home with the W. Where were I would your say dates? that your, your dish was more unified. It really was. You had a nice southern theme, oh, street talkers, nice. oh, no, everything came like together. No Their dish definitely looked a lot better than ours. The plating was great and everything, and I'm sure it tastes delicious. We just kind of decided to maybe, I don't know, swing for the fences and try something different with the shrimp and grits. I'm confident in our dish. I'm I liked it. I thought dish. it turned I out well. We did great. I think it's how I cook, so. So I appreciate it, and I hope the judges appreciate it as well. All right, it looks like the judges have come to a decision on who will win the $10,000 uh, for this chop competition. There's $10,000 on this thing? <laughs> First, in order to ensure that we won the $10,000, um, we'd probably sabotage our competitors. It's the thing to do. And then after that, we'd probably uh, turn against one another in uh, a battle to see who gets all 10000 of those dollars. With the $10,000, I would start our commune in the Gulf of Mexico. Let's see whose dreams are coming true today. It was not unanimous. Whoa. All right. The winner is... Chef Don and Chef Amanda! No! I don't know. Congratulations! I mean, you know, we kind of saw it coming. I think that uh, our Southwestern tacos, beans and rice, like camping sort of theme stuck really well. Yeah. Well, we're very, very happy for the winners, but unfortunately, that wasn't us. And I think we're going to have to say that we neither respect nor agree with the judge's decision on this one. Yeah, it was tough. I was expecting judges that had some background in food, maybe had used a fork, and uh, that's not what we got. The boys did really well. It was delicious, yeah. not going to lie. It was a more of a refined dish. It was. But we're and in Texas, yeah. and a Southwest dish was the clear winner. Know your audience. Read the room. <laughs> Well, I'm completely demoralized by this entire experience. Devastated. Yeah, I'm probably gonna sell all my cookware. And I'm just gonna start eating McDonald's every meal from here on out. <laughs> they get $10,000 for first place and all we got was this consolation puppy. some peppers and some onion and some salt. All right, you go cut their propane line. And some pepper.
pineapples, <laughs> and we made like a beans and rice and cheese thing. How did you two meet and start cooking together? I have no recollection of this event. 